Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Irish Succession, the second episode here. We're going to be going to war with Diazimumhain basically immediately, so let's go ahead and declare war here. We're going to... Do we have enough to actually do a Ducal Conquest? That would be nice, but we don't. We require, what, 100 piety? We have 36 piety? Thanks, cynicism and lustfulness. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon, so let's go ahead and extort the tribute there. We have a 3.38% chance every single year to create a claim on that. It's not very much of a chance because our Chancellor sucks. Do we have a better Chancellor? We do have a better Chancellor. He's a courtier. This guy's a bishop. He's a powerful vassal. He's going to be a little angry, but he's a bishop. He can't really actually do anything. Let's go ahead and appoint this guy as our... What? Skill 2? lol diplomacy skill 12 this guy this guy is our chancellor well we just made some people really angry that's it's gonna be fine but we more than doubled our chance of making this claim but we're still gonna fight these guys we can call in our allies which i'm gonna go ahead and do here there we go raise our military which has not recovered too much but it won't need to i mean this guy is pretty strong actually he has 600 units we should probably actually wait for our allies to show up yeah he's gonna march on us yep and here come our allies now we're defending this territory and our allies can get here a lot faster it's just a better tactical position for us. He's probably going to retreat to Diazimumain, is my guess. He could theoretically retreat to Tuatimumain, but I don't think he's going to. Yeah, he's retreating to Diazimumain. So... We cannot yet expel the Jewry. It's always fun to do that. Steal all their money. But that's not something we're going to be doing anytime soon. And don't take that out of context. There are a lot of things in this game that you really, really shouldn't take out of context. There will be some shenaniganry. There will be shenaniganry. So this war is pretty effortless, if I'm honest, at this point. Our tributary bull... Bull? Bull? The word I'm looking for is ball. Our tributary ball, which is like a snowball, except made out of tributaries, is pretty much rolling at this point. It's starting to turn into a tributary avalanche. I should stop chasing down these guys. They don't have enough to actually do anything, so let's go ahead and siege. We're at our 75% battle cap anyway. At the bottom of the tooltip there, this CB allows 75% war score from battles for attackers. So in order to progress this war at all, we'd have to either capture him or siege this. And our odds of sieging are far better. We should auto-assign commanders. That's much easier. Now, I still don't have an heir. What is my wife up to? She's at port? Or at... Once again, reading ahead. She's at court in Port Lairge. <laughs> at port. I, I guess I guess our wife is a ship now. That's, that's exciting. Okay, so let's go ahead and offer peace there. Send our troops home. And we've got this whole little area down here under our control. Which is very nice. Go ahead and send those guys home. We've built up 570 prestige again. Weaponsmith has been built, so we should build another one. How about another Weaponsmith? That could be fun. So, the question now becomes, what do we do next? We're kind of waiting for children in order to do marriages. Can I change my focus? Not until next year. Next year I'll probably change over to a family focus if I don't have any children yet. My wife is 33, so she's getting on up there for childbearing. That's not so great. As far as combat goes, the next step is probably, if we have a CB, some of these guys over here. 
We don't have a CB on Sildara. We do have a CB on Dublin, though. Which we should do. We should totally do that. Dublin will eventually be our capital, but for now, it is not. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's walk to Ligon. We don't... 816. Yeah, he has a lot of troops. We're going to need to wait for our allies to get there. He's already in Ligon. Okay. Well, our, our allies will get there in plenty of time. It should be fine. Did I not call in Ligon? I didn't call in Ligon. And this event again. I'm going to be debasing the mints again because I like money. And who cares about future consequences? We need short-term gains. Ever since... Oh, uh, this one again. Okay, we just get more stewardship. Cool. Yep, Ligon will join. And now we start crushing Dublin. And in we go. He still has a lot of troops, 678. We're going to have to fight him several times, probably. I wish Diazimum Hain would get up here already. Took him long enough. What did he do? Oh, 405 from Ligon. That's pretty handy, actually. We could potentially... Hmm, we can't actually split our, our army. He's going into Osrage. We need to chase him. He is a threat. He could siege... We don't have the war score to guarantee a win with a single siege, so he could cause a lot of damage here. We need to chase him down, figure out where he's going to retreat to, and then fight him at least two more times, probably. He's going to Osrage, so we will go ahead and fight him there. We won that. Go to Sildara. I mean, of course we won it. We're not going to be losing these battles. That's just simply not going to happen. And now he goes to Dublin. We fight him there. And this time it should be low enough that we can actually just ignore him. 206. I mean, 275. Yeah, we should be okay. He can't do anything more. We're at our 75%, so we need to siege anyway. How are we doing on tech? Awful. Our tech is terrible. Good to know. Now, as soon as we get out of war, we can switch over to Tanistry. Which we should do. We should totally do that. Although I really wish my wife would get pregnant already. Well, this year we can switch over to a family focus. And there's our war one. Go ahead and offer peace to that. We won. Head home. We can switch to Tanistry once our vassals do not have a negative opinion of us. The only vassal we have is this guy, and we made him really angry. Like, really, really angry. He hates us a lot, in fact. Um... We can do something about that. We can increase his opinion by 30 by doing that. More than anything, though, he wants to be on the council. He's actually a decent spy master. Intrigue of 12. He's better than this guy. Let's go ahead and stick him on the council in the spy master role. And now he actually kind of likes us. Not very much, but a little bit. These guys should be put down so that we're not paying taxes to them. Well, we don't pay taxes to them, we pay wages to them, but we don't want to be paying for upkeep. So we can now we can go straight to tan Tanistry, which we should do. We are now Tanistry. Let's see who he actually votes for. We only have the one vassal, so he's the only one who's going to vote. Eh, the same guy, that's fine. We'll, we can vote for him too. My steward tells me that his efforts at praising my name and deeds have met with great success. A small army of warriors have converged at Ermhamhain tribe, ready to serve me. I just need to be sure they have someone ready to fight within a year, lest they become troublesome. Splendid. So we have another 300 troops here for free. Do we have anybody to fight? That's the question. 
Dyfed is a bit spooky because they're feudal. They have a lot of heavy infantry to our light infantry, which is basically a hard counter. We don't have a CB on Sildara. Do we, ha do we have one? Yes, we have one on Kanachda. We should totally do that. Okay, let's go ahead and raise our military. Away we go. Call in our allies. There we go. And, ooh, my beloved wife Claudia is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she's heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court. And my only option is vanity is a sin. Let's go to the church instead. Well, that's a good way to get your wife pregnant, dude. Okay, he will join our war. Blah, blah. An anti-pope? Who set this up? The King of Trent. Wait. Court Chaplain of Lombardy. Okay. Anti-pope named this guy. The King of Lombardy. Okay. <laughs> well, he can have fun with that. I'm not gonna get involved with an anti-pope at this point. Ugh. Catholicism. Hmm. As he's growing older, I can see that Selbach could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated, but this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Selbach. He deserves greatness, go get it, he becomes ambitious, we become bitter rivals. That's spooky, because this is the guy that we made be the uh, etiquette guy, if I recall correctly. He's a little spooky. We don't want him to be our enemy, so we don't want a rival who's ambitious. Be thorough, make others count on you. He gains the trait diligent, we gain the, the trait stressed. Make your move at the right time, he gains patient. We get out of patience for five years, causing minus two to a bunch of stats. We don't really care about this kid. I don't want to make a sacrifice, or rather an investment in his stats, because he's only a kinsman, he's only tangentially related. I don't want to help him that much. He must learn on his own. Look at that army. That's a tribal army right there, without even having to pay for it. Very... Mm, probably one more fight. One more fight, I think. And then he's going to retreat to Kanakta like that, so go ahead and do that. And he won't be able to do anything anymore. There we go. Did we wipe him? Or is he just invisible there? He's just invisible. Okay. Too many armies there. Oh, he's... He's wiped. We wiped him. Okay. <laughs> well, there's that. Now we just need to siege this. We're actually getting close to having enough piety. Oh, wow. It's because I got zealous and build zeal? Yeah. Yep. So we're going to be able to actually fight without a claim soon. Which will be good. Really good. 99%? Really? Rip in pepperonis. No ticking war score or anything, so we just got to siege this last bishopric here. What a jerk. Like, he's, he's probably going to say, it's just a flesh wound. Yep, it's just a flesh wound. Apparently, one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife Claudia, and instead of asking me for help, she took the matter into her own hands and made sure that the courtier would never annoy her again, or, he, or he'd know the consequences. What on earth was she thinking, or she did the right thing? Well, who is this guy? This is my steward. He has an opinion of 41 of me, so... He's still gonna like me... pretty well. And I would like to build opinion with her. How else is she going to offer me children? Again, don't take this out of context. Terrible idea. <laughs> 
Victory! Excellent. Okay, so now we have a 100% war score. Head back to our territory. Enforce our demands. Okay. We have, what, over half of Ireland under our control now. Indirect control, but control nonetheless. Probably still don't have a CV on Sildara. Nope. How about Brafni? Nope. Tirtronail. We actually do. And we should do it. So let's go ahead and raise up again. Call in all of our allies. Might as well use the hotkey to speed that up a bit. Hotkey is C. And there we go. He will honor his obligation. As will they all. It was never going to be any other way. Oh, the petty kingdom of man is still independent. Looks like Pictland managed to sort out that whole rebellion, or more more precisely, I'm willing to bet this is the new guy. Okay, I'm willing to bet this is the new guy's son. <laughs> He's really young. Oh wow, okay, they just walked right past us. Oh, well, we're ahead in this siege. Our allies held them off for a while. Let's go ahead and take this siege and then walk back. There we go. You should have, yeah, one bishopric. I wish I could tell my vassal to to siege this bishopric like you can in Europa. That would be nice. But unfortunately you cannot, and since I have no one leading my army, <laughs> I can't divide it. No one at all. Wow. Well, let's keep it up here. Get these guys down. Out of curiosity, do I actually have a CB on tier Eogain? I do. Excellent. That is going to be amazing. So let's finish up. Oh, we actually... Did we capture him? No. We just got the war score we needed, I guess. Oh, there was some ticking, I think. Well, offer that piece. Home we go. A lot of money coming in here that we don't have much to spend on yet, but we'll be glad for that later. Weaponsmith was just built. <laughs> He finished his education with a complete lack of guidance. He tried his best to study stewardship. To no avail. He is an indulgent wastrel. I have failed him. Yeah, that sounds about right. Then again, I did actively sabotage him. So, there is that. My bishop has secluded himself. Why did he do that? There's no diseases around here. I'm confused. Oh well. I guess my bishop is secluded. Have fun with that, bishop. So let's go ahead and declare Ontario gain now. Go ahead and march up there. Call in all of these guys. Yep, already got him. They'll all accept. There they go. And this guy just realized how screwed he is. Answer, very screwed. We may get there in time? Yes. Excellent. He'll retreat to Ergiala. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Hello, there is a host attacking my tributary. Um, I mean, I guess that's okay. Not much that I can do about it, really. Okay. This war is basically won. Osrage is helpfully sieging Ergiala. That is very helpful, in fact. We just stack wiped them. So let's go ahead and siege up here. Oh, he's trying to raise another little stack, but... To no avail. 
Now, Osrage is probably going to be kicked out of here pretty soon, and that's a bit of a scary host. It's a lot of light infantry. Who? Why is Wessex up here? Wessex, what are you doing? No, seriously, Wessex. What are you doing? He is defending against this host. Okay. He can do that. That is fine. I really, really don't care about that. Oh, there we go. It is one. There we go. A new bird has arrived in the muse, and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Now, I could start writing, reading the book if I want to be a poet. That would probably end up increasing my, my diplomacy. Or I could take the new bird out for a hunt. Let's take a look at what happens with the bird. In the meantime, we'll send our troops back home. The new bird was more aggressive than the ones I'm used to. It killed many rabbits, but it, but was unwilling to relinquish its catch. It even attacked me when I tried to pry one away. She's far too dangerous. I gain the trait depressed. Poetry is safer. Let's try that instead. Diplomacy plus one. Okay, why would I ever choose this option? Why would I ever become depressed when I could just gain a stat instead? So I guess we're an aspiring poet now. <laughs> I, I don't know what kind of poetry we do. Oh, okay. He's now unlanded. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared several, seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Long lost, but home again, gains the trait kind. That's a decent trait. Or he's finally found his way home then, and I get him in my court. I'll take the kind trait. So, what happened here was Osrage got looted by a host. This host, to be precise. It's got 18,000 troops in it. Well, not 1,000, 1,800 troops in it. And he was unlanded by it. He was completely kicked out, and this guy is now the chief of Osrage. We do not have a tributary claim on him. Well, we have a claim, but we don't actually have him as our tribute. We could press the other guy's claim, but I'm not going to do that, I don't think. I'm just going to extort the tribute. We have a lot of troops that we have access to here. The real question is going to be, can we group them up before these troops actually attack us. To that end, I'm going to be walking over into Two Adam Main, and I'm going to keep a close eye on these troops. Yeah, he's going to try to walk in immediately. I think we may get out. Nope. Okay, well, it's up to our allies to get here. They are not going to get here. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, we are grouping up. My modest attempts to write poetry was never meant to be published in any way, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting or singing my poems. Apparently people like our poetry. Plus one diplomacy, plus ten same trade opinion, or fifteen prestige, f because my poetry was never meant for others. I'm gonna say fame and fortune awaits. We have lots of prestige. I'm not concerned about prestige. What we really need right now is to group up all these troops. And looks like they're going to let us. Very convenient. So as soon as our allies get here, I think we have enough. Let's go. These stragglers will come in eventually. But for right now, yeah. We're crushing this host. Let's get back that three war score we lost in that battle a little bit ago. There we go. Why did he retreat to Tuatamumhain, I have to wonder, though, when he's from Osrage? I would have expected him to retreat to Osrage. Well, let's find out. He's going to be retreating over here. We're going to need to keep fighting him for a little while, though. His troops are going down pretty quick. We outnumber them quite heavily now. 
Sildara, and then back into Othridge, I would say. There we go. Ooh, you wake up and go to the window to greet the sun, and then suddenly realize that your castle garden has been neglected for years and turned into an overgrown and chaotic disgrace. The weeds are knee-high, and vines are making it almost impassable without having a sword at hand. Something needs to be done about this! I can make sure to make this a real garden with a glorious hedge maze. Or say, there's so little time. Well, obviously, we're gonna make it a real garden. We're not leading troops. What else are we going to do with our time? We're making a garden! Let's go, boys! It's hard work to clean out all the weeds from a huge garden. It will take many days and nights of hard labor to finish the preparatory work before you can even begin to grow the hedge maze. I'll do it myself and gain diligent. That is a really good stat. That is really good. Plus one to everything. Or, I'll need to acquire a helping hand. I can make this guy my friend. Now, this guy doesn't like me very much. And I have no reason to like this guy. I'm gonna do all this myself. There we go. I've gained the diligent trait. My spy master has secluded himself again. Good job, spy master. Okay, let's go ahead and take on this guy another time. Hmm. Chief of Tuatamumhain. Oh, he inherited. Okay, so the previous ruler here died. This guy. And he inherited it. However, because we're still alive, we still hold him as a tributary. Okay. Now that the hedges are planted and you just need to wait for them to grow, you turn your attention to other details that your garden needs. Should you add some statues to the dead ends of your maze? I can add statues of my family. My dynasty will appreciate this gesture. I can add religious figures, the various popes and bishops in my realm like it. At this point, there's no popes in my realm, but he still likes it. And there's one bishop. He gets impressed. Or the shadows are enough decoration. I'm going to add statues of my family, because I'm not a narcissist at all. Okay, so let's finish up this war here. His host is sufficiently crushed at this point. In fact, it's non-existent. Offer peace. He wants to surrender. Why does he want to surrender? I mean, I gained my full prestige amount, so there's no point in, in dragging that war out. So we won that. Go ahead and move our troops back there. Any garden with self-respect has a fountain, someone told you once. Now you have the possibility to build a fountain for your garden to flaunt your extravagance. I can build a large fountain in the middle for plus half a monthly prestige, 18 gold. I'll have a fountain and wine shall flow through it all the days of the week. I gain the trait gluttonous, which will hurt my stewardship a fair amount. I'll go down to 11 stewardship. Hmm. But that will give me one monthly prestige, which would be nice. 53 gold. I have a lot of gold stocked up here for us. 421 gold. I think we can, I think we can get away with doing that just fine. Let's be a glutton. What could go wrong? So let's let's take a look at what societies we can join. Actually, um, we could join the Benedictines. The Dominicans. I'm not going to go for Lucifer's own. That's not happening on the first go round. <laughs> Maybe later on when we have some backup heirs. But seeing as I still don't even have an heir, I, I really should switch over to family. My wife is 37. She's getting on up there. I mean, I've got this guy. That's kind of obnoxious, though. It's time to fill out the rows of plants around the garden. You could either import exotic flowers from far away, or you could plant local species. Let's go ahead and import flowers. That, that would be nice. Okay, so... What was I doing? Ah, yes, I was looking for a society. I could join the Dominicans or the Benedictines. And I believe I'm going to join... I'm thinking the Dominicans right now because they like to identify heretics 
and that sounds like a good thing. So let's go ahead and join them. It's a great honor. Okay. There's a spot that's unused in a secluded part of the garden. Some people w would say that it's a perfect spot for a cozy pavilion. That sounds romantic, let's do it, or that sounds a bit too romantic for my taste. You know what? Let's do it. Plus three general opinion. This thing's getting expensive, though. Hmm. So as far as expansion goes, we don't have a claim on Sildara or Brafney still. Ooh, the hedge maze and garden are finally finished. The expensive and exclusive details you added have not gone unnoticed, and your garden has gained fame for its magnificence across many realms. While creating the garden, you also learned much about how to make things grow and flourish around you. Flowers, as well as relationships. I like to see things flourish. Or also, but sometimes one must also destroy. So I can gain plus one stewardship, plus one diplomacy, or I can gain gardener and lose trader and gain plus one diplomacy. Gardener will give two stewardship. That offsets that gluttonous that we took earlier. Let's go ahead and take that. Ergiala is ours. Tirtranail is ours. Dublin is ours. Ulaid. This is the last place in Ireland. Let's go ahead and take that. Of course, all of these will be lost when we die. And if we don't happen to get any claims. But after this war, we'll be able to... We, we have the piety to actually do a real claim. Hmm, he wants to just agree to the demands. He would lose 50 prestige and would just give it straight to us. We would not gain prestige. Let's just accept it. Because we can put those guys down immediately and then go to war. I'm thinking right here. We can put this guy to plotting there. We can release this tributary. Yep, they don't want to join our, our war because there isn't a war anymore. And then go ahead and do the Ducal Conquest of Diazimumhain. We have the piety to pull this off now. We'll lose some gold, but this will actually be our county rather than the tributaries that we've been doing thus far. So that is super, super important. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, call in all of our allies. And then in Urmhamhain, we need to start building something. I kind of want to go for a third weaponsmith. Oh boy. Let's go for a practice range instead. Go ahead and do that. And raise our troops. This guy actually has slightly more troops than we do, so let's just chill here until our allies show up. Yeah, he doesn't want to join now. <laughs> so many people joining war. First world problems, I guess. There's too many people wanting to help me. I don't know what to do about this. Actually, I know exactly what to do about this. Take all of them up on it and crush my enemies. So many enemies. Look at all these enemies. All these guys are jerks. Every single one of them. Luckily, they won't always be jerks. Okay, so we crush that. Take this siege quick. We have run over a little bit on this episode, so I figure after this war... Oh, finally. My wife is finally pregnant. Excellent. Excellent. We actually had a really good second episode here. We're getting actual territory. Our wife is actually pregnant. This is... This is really, really solid. Go ahead and offer peace here. And as you can see, this is now ours. Our territory. Go ahead and stand these guys down. Let's tick that one day. And we can create the title Duchy of Mumu. We actually have the prestige and the gold to do it. 
We totally should. And now, we are a petty king. And that is an excellent place to end this episode. Next episode, we'll be going for probably a ducal conquest of Tuatamum Hain, as well as maybe expanding some of our tributaries out into Northumbria and maybe Dyfed. So, I look forward to seeing you guys there. And until then, I don't really have an outro, do I? Until then, I'll see you guys at the next one. That doesn't really work. I, I don't... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Until the next episode, I will see you guys later. That this, this isn't getting better, is it? Hmm. Well, we'll try again next episode. Maybe it'll get better. See you guys then. <laughs>